friends, welcome to Answer Saturday. It is the 74th episode in the Geography series. So today we will discuss about another country in that in the world, and that country name is Sweden. Yes, the home of IKEAs and meatballs. Yes. So it is a Nordic country that is located on Scandinavian Peninsula. So Scandinavia is like okay. So first, let's just draw Sweden. It has this big bulge. and it goes like this and this is freedom yes so it is in the scandinavian peninsula in both the regions known as scandinavia and the nordic cultural region kind of yes the nordics were mainly viking area yes so next the bordering nations of sweden include so first to the western north there is norway it goes like this it even borders russia and also it also i mean in the east it has the border with finland finland okay and it also ha- kind of has a border with denmark with a tunnel a high road tunnel kind of yes a bridge tunnel okay so like denmark islands copenhagen island like there's a small road tunnel yes so the capital of sweden is the city known as stockholm in this region where many of the islands are there a lot of which Yes. So the area of Sweden is four hundred and forty-seven thousand to four hundred and twenty-five square kilometers, which makes the fifty-fifth largest country in the world. Pretty large, but not as large as many big countries. So it is the largest country in the Nordic region. Yes, bigger than Finland, Norway, and all these other countries. And also, it is the third largest in the EU and the fifth largest in Europe. Yes. So yeah, in compared to Europe, it is pretty big. Meanwhile, in the world, it's pretty tiny. It's medium size. So next, the population of Sweden is 10.5 million people. Most of them reside in the southern regions because in the north, you know what's in the north? Coldness, tundra, everything bad, like less heat. Yes, very cold. Next, the pop official language in Sweden is. the man and other and then swedish what is the speak there is finnish yeah okay so next the religion the religions of sweden are 61.4% christianity okay it is mainly in your right next 36% no religions people who have nothing i mean and i think to follow they are like atheists yes and then 2.3% or muslims and then there are other smaller religions like the native sami people in the north who follow their sami religion yes so the currency in sweden is the swedish krona which many other nordic countries use like the like the danish or the nordic i mean the norwegian yes so the nature of sweden is mainly dominated by forests and many lakes yes and also lots of lots of islands mainly in like this region near stockholm there are more than 287000 islands out of which only 900 are inhabited so that's a lot of waste for islands waste of islands yeah and yeah and also because if it's like it is in the top 10 countries with the most islands Oh uh, yeah, so great. Next, it has a maritime borders with first Denmark. It also has, like it also has the uh, road border, but it mainly doesn't count because it's just the road, nothing else. Next, it has a maritime border with Germany here, Poland, Russia. Yeah, there's only a thin sliver to hold it. Next, Lithuania, La- Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, the main three Baltic countries too. Yes. So it has 25 different provinces, political provinces, not geographical provinces. They are completely different kind of. Yes. So about 15% of Sweden lies north of the Arctic Circle. Yes. So this 15% is north of the Arctic Circle. That means in the above the I mean like north of the Arctic Circle, each day is six months long. One night is six months long. And one day is six months long. That means one full day is guess it one whole year. This is all because of 
guess it the earth's axis it is pretty, it is like tilted right the tilted earth's axis means the both 65% of the total land area are just forests in the northern region where it's mainly tundra and some here also but here it is mostly plains yes so next the climate of sweden is just the temperate climate yes kind of yes okay but still pretty cold even though it is temperate and then it is the 12th richest country in the world why i mean in terms of gdp per capita yes so for gdp to be high in gdp per capita that means you must have a low population or large lot of money and if they both they just dance together in a perfect motion then yeah you're in a pretty good spot in the gdp per capita ca- category so it is also famous for some companies like the world war car company and and ikea and ikea and this is from ikea itself this chair which once i tortured with wax on top of it but that's for another thing yes so it is also pretty much famous for meatballs and last and finally the flag of sweden is t- it also has an outer cross which all nordic countries and scandinavian countries have so first is just a blue background and the cross is a- cross is also not perfect it is like misaligned yes so this outer background part is completely blue meanwhile inside it is yellow so yeah this is also the flag of sweden so yeah this for today about sweden bye